Green Lantern number four, written by Jeff Johns, art by Doug Monkey. We left off last issue with Hal Jordan flying into the Yellow Lantern power battery in an effort to destroy it, and then seemingly being completely disintegrated. Uh, this issue picks up showing, well, hold on, he wasn't completely disintegrated, despite the fact the last issue said disintegration complete. Uh, no, this issue we see that he's still struggling, and he's going through some memories of all the breakups he's had with Carol Ferris, which is weird. Um, and then the yellow battery says, oh, wait, you're not Sinestro. Transport to antimatter universe aborted. And so then the yellow lantern starts freaking out. Uh, Sinestro's like, oh, hey, maybe he actually managed to do it. And then he sees that it spits out the Green Lantern battery. He's like, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, how did you manage to screw this up, Hal, for God's sakes? And then he looks up and wonders where Hal is, and we see that he's just been spit out as well. Lands right next to Sinestro. And Sinestro is caught so off guard that basically the Yellow Lanterns get a handle on him. They're, they're able to hold him down. And Hal's unconscious, so he's not doing anything. And they're like, cool, cool, cool. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just rip this green ring off of Sinestro's finger, just in case maybe it's like the Guardians are mind-controlling him, so our actual Sinestro is still in there. Possible. Anyway, we can throw Hal into the cell, though. So they throw Hal into the cell, and they're like, yeah, you can you can waste your time all you want with your Green Lantern power. It's, it's not going to be able to get you out of here. And lo and behold, he does exactly that as soon as he comes to. He starts using his ring for... As many ways as he can think to smash through the door. It's not doing anything until finally his ring is like, warning, 0%. Uh, your ring's about to die. And so Hal's like, all right, I can make one more construct to get out of here. I can't can't do this br brashly. I just need to think what is the last thing I want to make before the light goes out. And he thinks for a second that he makes a construct that looks like Carol. And he says, Carol, I'm sorry. And it fades, and he's left without his uh, Green Lantern ring. So then we cut to Sinestro, who's being straight up super tortured um, via the Yellow Lanterns, trying to get this ring off of him. And apparently they're not having any luck, but they are very happy to cause Sinestro this much pain. And basically, they, they're just reasoning like, oh, well, here's the thing. You're... You, your green power has truly infected your brain. Don't worry. I have a way of freeing you, even if it means taking off your hand. So then we go to the cell next to Hal. We see Hal's waking up and he hears it opening up. And Sinestro's thrown in. And he's like, well, we're going to put him in here until we can get all of the green energy removed from his ring. And then we'll have an easier time of taking it off. But as he's thrown in, Sinestro wakes up and sees... He's surrounded by all of his own people, the Corrigarians, the Corrigans, I don't know what they're called. But anyway, they're all there, and they are terrified of Sinestro. They are pissed at him. They are keeping their distance. And someone steps up named um, Officer Arsona, who I believe was the girl from the middle of the last issue, probably. Anyway, um... And they're like, oh, no, they're all afraid of you because you have done this to our people. And he's like, no, 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 no. I, I specifically told the Yellow Lanterns not to do this, and they've gone against my will. And he's like, you still made the Yellow Lanterns. This is still your fault, Sinestro. And it's like, I supported you. I, I followed your will because I thought what you were doing was right. And he's like, and you were right to support me because what I was doing was right. And she's like, shut up. You are such an ass. And basically he's just like, trying to attack him, and he is unwilling to let up that he didn't do anything wrong. This is all the Yellow Lanterns, and he's here to help. But finally, um, after Arsona walks away and says how he betrayed her, she's like, wait, wait, I I am sorry. I made a mistake. And she's like, that's not going to do anything to help. Meanwhile, you got a single cut to Hal here, and he's like, oh my god, he said he was sorry. I'm so happy I got to hear this. So... Hal then shines up, and he's like, wait a minute, hold on, there could be a way. And they're like, hold on, Hal, is that you? And he's like, yeah, you know how you made that ring for me? It doesn't hold as good of a charge. Thanks for mentioning that, by the way, but you could make one for all the people in there. Surely everyone in there would be able to get out with that much willpower, get out of this cell. And they're like, okay, yeah, worth a shot, whatever. 
So Sinestro starts concentrating. He's planning on making his ring. Hal's like, you can do it, Sinestro. You can do it. And Sinestro's like, shut up, Jordan. I know I can do it. And he just makes a whole bunch of rings. They all go onto the fingers of everyone in the room. And Sinestro's like, I did it. We can get out of here. And he's like, yeah, you did it all right, Sinestro. And we see the Corrigarians now, all with fully powered lantern rings, are all turning on Sinestro. And it's like, we're finally going to have our revenge on you. And that's where the issue ends. Um... Real quick, just with that ending, are we supposed to forget that Hal wasn't able to attack Sinestro? Like, we know that that's not going to work. Like, it seems, I know I know that for the individual issue's sake, there's nothing to say that they can't attack Sinestro, but, like, we know that they can't if you've been reading just these four issues. I don't know. It just seems like a weird way to be like, aha, when everyone in the audience, even the people who like aren't aware of comic tropes have been explicitly told that that's not going to work anyway um i like this issue it's solid um it does a little bit of character motivation on both hal and sinestro sinestro finally admitting that he made a mistake and hal doing his whole carol thing uh not a lot of plot forwarding it it just seems more or less like we're pretty much in the same place except now They've got more Green Lanterns, which is just the tiniest move forward. So overall, I like the writing story-wise, whatever. Art-wise, fantastic. It's very good looking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7. I like it. I'm looking forward to see how we move on from here. Especially, like, these cells are designed to just absorb these ring energies. So I don't understand how splitting one ring into, like, 50 changes anything but i'm sure they'll have some explanations so yeah no seven for green lantern number four